Number 34. By hand, give the solution set of the following inequality in interval notation. So we have parentheses 2x minus 7, parentheses x plus 6, greater than or equal to 0. So we have to solve uh, this inequality. So the first step when you're solving inequalities is to make sure you have 0 on one side and make sure that this is factored. So that's already done for us. So the second step is to set each piece equal to 0. So you take each factor and you set it equal to 0. So we have 2x minus 7 equals 0. And here we have x plus 6 equals 0. So it's important that you set it equal to 0, not greater than or equal to 0. So we're using something called the test point method. So, um, so each piece equal to 0. Um, to solve this first piece, we just add 7. So we get 2x equals 7. Then you just divide by 2. So divide by 2, divide by 2. So you get x equals 7 over 2. Here we subtract 6, so minus 6, minus 6. So we get x equals negative 6. OK, so the next step in the test point method is to draw a number line. And then you plot your answers. So we have negative 6 here. And then here we have 7 halves. And so now we're supposed to pick test points. And here's how it works. So you're, suppo you're supposed to pick a point in each interval. Like you're supposed to pick a number over here, like negative 8. And then you're supposed to plug it in to the original equation. If it's true, you're supposed to shade here. If it's not true, you don't shade. Then you're supposed to pick a number here, like 0, and then plug it in to your original equation. If it's true, you shade. If it's not true, you don't shade. And then you're supposed to pick a number over here also, like 10. You plug it into your original equation. And if it's true, you shade. And if it's not true, you don't shade. So that's a lot of work. So it turns out there's a trick that will work in these problems. Just pick the easiest number in the world. Let's check 0. So 0 comes from here, right? So we're going to plug it into the original equation. So we get 2 times 0 minus 7. And then we get 0 plus 6. And we want to see if this is greater than or equal to 0. That's the question. So we have negative 7 times 6. And we want to see if this is greater than or equal to 0. right? Because 2 times 0 is 0. 0 minus 7 is negative 7. So we have negative 42 greater than or equal to 0. Is that true? No, that is false. right? A negative number is not bigger than 0. So we don't shade here. And so what you do is you shade in the other pieces. So you shade here and you shade here. So the pattern in these problems will always be shade, no shade, shade, no shade, shade, no shade, shade. So it's no shade, shade. Sorry, no shade, no shade, shade, right? If, if instead, like let's say it was true. If instead, say it was true, say it was like 3 bigger than 0, then you would shade here, right? You would shade it. But it's not true, so you shade in the other pieces. And the pattern is always alternating, right? You shade, no shade, shade, no shade, shade, no shade. Okay, so we shaded here, and we shaded here. So now we have to check the negative 6 and the 7 halves. Well, in these problems, it's really simple. So if you have an equal to piece, it's always brackets. So bracket, bracket. If you have this or this, it's parentheses. So this is parentheses. And if you have the equal to piece, it's always going to be brackets. So in this case, it's just brackets. So now we can write the answer down. So from the picture, it's negative infinity to negative 6, right from the picture. And then we have to connect these sets. So union, and then we start with the bracket, 7 halves to infinity. So that is the final answer. So I hope this video uh, has been helpful. That's it.